Hi, this is Dennis Fauché, and today I thought I'd go through the brand new NetApp Global File Cache Lab on the WWT website. So I've already uh, launched the lab, added it to uh, my lab. So I'm going to go to my WWT.com labs. You'll see the NetApp Global File Cache Lab. I launched it. It took about a minute to show up in my labs, and I'm just going to open it up um, and go into it. Before we go into the actual lab, though, I want to go over the architecture. So the global file cache is built on a central core cache and multiple edge caches. So we're going to start with our central core cache here and go through the details. So you notice we have a core cache. In data center one, we have two redundant edge caches. In data center two, we have two redundant edge caches. In data center four, we have one edge cache. And then in our Equinix data center, we also have an edge cache. So this gives us an edge file cache closest to our users. And our users will use whichever edge cache is closest to them for best performance. All right, let's drill into the core. So this is the cache that accesses our NetApp storage directly. It's called AWS GFC Core 1 as its name. We're going to see that later when we drill into the edge caches. Now, the backend file server, you'll notice that we have our uh, ONTAP, which is actually running in AWS ONTAP. So that's our backend file server and that file server that the core cache is serving files from or caching files from. All right, let's take a look at one of the edges here. So data center one, edge two. You notice it's name under system name. That's where the desktops will connect to it if they connect to it directly as a local cache. And under the global file cache configuration, you'll notice that it's pointing back to that core global file cache that we, we went to before, the GFC core. Let's take a look at another edge. So data center two, edge two. We'll open up the global file cache application here as administrator and take a look at how that's set up. So different data center, data center two. So you'll notice the edge cache is called data center two edge two. We go into the configuration and we notice what core instance. And of course it's pointing back to AWS GFC core one, just as all the edge caches point back to that core cache. All right, let's jump over to data center four and take a look at uh, that cache that's running there. I'm sure you won't be surprised when you see it set up just like all the other caches, but it has a different name for any desktops in data center four to point to. So we need to add the system name to this one. We'll do that one shortly. But if we go into the uh, GFC config, go back to the core instance that it's pointing back to, and of course it's pointing back to our AFC, or excuse me, our AWS core uh, GFC cache. All right, and then we'll, uh, we'll finally move on to our final cache, which is running in our Equinix data center. So we've seen data center one, data center two, data center four, and now we'll look at the cache that's running in our Equinix data center. So that's our Equinix DC4, Edge 2. Of course, the core instance is pointing back to that GFC core running in AWS. All right, now the next step will be, let's see how the desktops are actually using these uh, edge caches. So we'll jump into Data Center 1, Desktop 2, and you'll notice that we have two, um, two mount points. A G mount point, which mounts the cache directly, and an I mount point, which is using DFS. So we're going to drill into these and take a look at how they're used. Later on in the demo, we'll actually go access some files. But for now, you'll notice the G is, is pointing directly to Data Center 1, GFC Edge 2, and it's accessing the files that are being pushed to that edge by the core cache as needed. Though if you see some X's on the right, those are those are folders or files that haven't been cached locally yet. Now the I is DFS, so let's drill into that and see how that's different. So if we go into the DFS tab and we extend it a little bit, 
you'll notice that we're not we're not mounting just one cache we're mounting all the caches all the edge caches and the one that's active right now is the local one which is dc1 edge 2 and that's where since that's the local one that's where we'll get our best performance but if that happens to fail we have other um, fallback edge caches to access our files from. Uh, let's jump to another desktop just for fun in another data center. Let's jump over to Equinix and pick a desktop there. You'll notice we have a G and an, and an I and the G of course is, is directly mounted to the local cache which is the Equinix Edge 2 and if we go into the DFS mount point you'll notice all the same all the edge caches are in there but the one that's being used is the local one so Equinix Edge 2. 